Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the fourth episode of the Beginner's Guide slash Challenge series I'm doing here, where I summon zero mystical scrolls and try to hit certain objectives. They're hard to um, see how fast I can progress in the game and challenge myself to do this. And uh, if you guys are following along not summoning any scrolls, uh, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, uh, but uh, uh, it's awesome though if you're, if you're trying to do this with me. Um, it's super hard. It really is, because you have to farm up uh, some of this stuff from, like, guild, the guild shop or something, like, um, where is it, uh, when Amazon, you have to do guild guild content to get her, uh, so you basically have to do Veramos first, and then you can do Sigmaris, and it takes a bunch of time getting all the unknown scrolls, like, I've got, I've got, oh, I've got 211 now, I've been farming a ton of giants, but I've basically been at zero for three weeks, just I mean, summoning every scroll that I've got for un un every unknown scroll. No other scrolls, just unknown scrolls. Um, so yeah, and this is at 25 days, apparently. I thought it was 24, I'm pretty sure. it's. I've been only playing for 24 days, but the game seems to think it's 25, so I'll go along with it. Um, yesterday, uh, so at the three-week mark, I did... Um, I think I had these six starred what did i ha i had i had a uh, lapis and crow were like five days into the game i had them six starred already five days in i think and then i had to wait to do fran i farmed up five i farmed up five fairies to bring fran from five star to six star same with lauren i, sh I farmed up five laurens to bring her to six star and then i had rainbow mons for these two as well as these two as well. Uh, cause they, they give out so many rainbow mon for free. Um, so many five star rainbow mon that as long as you're playing a bunch, you'll, you'll get the stuff. They're even in events. There's, a, I got one from an event, um, that was just going on. Um, so yeah, so I got all this stuff up, um, yesterday. Uh, so today is a Sunday. Yesterday was a Saturday on Saturday. Well, on Friday night, I started farming up everything for Sigmaris and I finished the fusion and then I got, him skilled up and I just was uh, working on getting him farmed up um, and whatever to that six star range and then I think I did that on Saturday I finished getting him to a six star and I had to farm up uh, these four I had to farm up all of them uh, they were all at some different level at, at the six star range and I had to get all of them to level 40 uh, Spectre I built from a three star up to here and I farmed 80 five dimensional energy about 85 on stage four to get the, to this amount so that takes a ton of time to do that um, and then i was doing runes all of yesterday for all these four right here and uh so that took me through yesterday i was doing all that stuff that was like 12 hours I was uh, dealing with all that today i did crow's runes i've been farming a bunch of b12 uh today's the first day i'm really going in and farming b12 a bunch i've got about 85 runs done i think on that um just short of 100 i might be at about 90 now uh yeah i don't know i'll call it 85 and make sure i go over um or whatever and make sure i get to, to at least 100 or definitely more than 100 and call it 100 but um yeah i've got so i got all this done i uh, yesterday basically and then i did all the artifacts today that took a couple hours getting all this stuff up um I'll go through that in a minute, but uh, Lapis, I just threw on the stats I wanted on her, which was defense and attack. The rest of this stuff doesn't matter at all to me. She's literally just there to farm. I'm just giving her extra stats in case I have to use her somewhere, like TOA maybe, because this set gives very little um, tanky stats. It is on Vampire, but it, I mean, if she gets one shot, her Vampire set isn't going to do very much, and it's not healing very much anyway realistically like heals a bunch with this skill because this is healing her to begin with and then it's stacking on top of with the set so but yeah um lapis is literally just for farming um, doesn't matter to me at all this stuff is what's relevant to me um so i'll go through this team now uh my this is my giants 12 team veramos goes first at 182 speed he's got these stats here i'll let you guys pause at any time you need just to i'll show the stats off for a couple of seconds and then switch to the runes i have um defense percent or defense here and then attack here 
Uh, this is for Spectra, when I get Spectra ready to go. Um, but it just seemed nice to throw on him for now. Um, he is on speed, HP, HP. The free set you get, plus I got lucky and got this rune, so it's some extra accuracy, speed, and HP percentage. And then these I farmed up at some point too. Just 20 extra speed, some health stats, little accuracy. So um, that's all right for him. Um, Fran, these are the stats here. She needs more accuracy. Everything else is totally fine. Um, but yeah, definitely more accuracy. She's got attack and defense. She needs the attack for extra healing. She is on speed, HP, defense percentage. And she's at 180 speed. So she goes um, after Vero by 2 speed. And then we've got Lauren. She's at 178 speed, so she's the next one on the team. These are the stats for her. Needs more accuracy. Uh, fully skilled up. I think I showed that a little earlier. She's got defense and HP just to stay alive. Speed, HP, and defense. This looks funny. Um, she needs to be on this right now for the turn order I have on the team. I'll show you guys that I have something else in mind for her here. Um, I need to clear uh, Dragon's B10 again um, and get this violence set for her. I think it's a speed HP HP set. And then um, speed tuning her should be easy. And then she'll be able to strip more because she's the only one stripping the attack buff in the team. She's the only one that can. So the next one is Sigmaris at 176, no, 174, 174 speed. These are the stats, actually pretty nice. Um, I don't have any complaints about Sigmaris. I'm pretty happy with the way that this Sigmaris looks on Swift Blade. Um, this is a pretty filthy one, 20% there, some extra stuff here. Um, crit damage, uh, not amazing, but it's got some crit rate and HP with uh, some crit rate on there. So uh, actually really happy with this. Um, HP you need on her because these skills do damage based on an enemy's max HP and you need Sigmaris to survive um, and then HP here I use this dungeon leader skill it's a bunch of HP extra uh, it's on defense HP this these are actually really nice um, additional damage by 40% of speed extra crit damage damage dealt to water um, extra crit damage. These are the opposite of each other. So this is based on good condition. This is based on bad. So I'm hitting it for extra crit damage, no matter what the boss is sitting at. Um, four accuracy is nice. Um, increasing attack buff effectiveness, basically. Um, extra crit damage, like actually really nice artifacts there. They were all uh, green or blue when I got these ones. Some are, some are even vanilla for some of them, but um, crows are pretty nice too. Extra crit damage here when that's low. Crit damage, accuracy, crit damage received. Every single thing here is very, very good for crow. Um, over here, and that's on uh, defense, flat defense. And then HP here with attack increasing effect. Uh, damage received from water, so damage received from the giant is down. And then life drain at 8%, so really, really solid. These are crow stats. Um, he's the one that I need to do the most work with. He's on energy fatal. Um, and I'm not mad like about this. This is great to have the HP here um, because he the most of the damage is coming from this skill. Um, damage increases by 50% for each harmful effect on the enemy. Which in this team, if the brand is already up, he's hitting the boss like he's destroying the boss. Um, if if he's already got the brand up, and this is the second time he's using Scar. Uh, Lauren brings three. She's got um, attack speed down. Um, HP recovery down, and then a defense break. Fran has the attack break. Uh, Crow has a defense break and a dot here. Um, Vero has a dot here. Uh, and then, yeah, uh, Sigmaris has an attack break on this uh, third skill. But Fran should really be the one throwing it on anyway. Um, but yeah, so like a bunch of different debuffs, and this can, thing can just end the giant. Um, but you need him to survive. Uh, so that's why he's on HP. So and then the tanky stats. This is so much more important than forcing attack, and that's one of the biggest things that people need to understand is that having your unit survive is a lot more important than dealing the damage early on. Um, the damage is important, and that's why you bring things like Sigmaris and Crow that are dealing a bunch of damage regardless of them having more attack or not. The crit damage is actually more important than the attack 
um, here because of the way that their skills are, the um, harmful effect damage and the um, max HP damage. So, yep, that's the uh, those are all, that's all the gear. Um, Spectre is sitting here, and then I can throw a run on for you guys too. Real quick, and we'll watch. Um, I have Sigmaris fully skilled up besides one skill up into the first skill. Um, it's just harmful effect right up for the stun, which is totally irrelevant, um, really, for any content. Um, and then Pharaoh is getting the rest of the Devilmon. Um, so I should finish TOA 70, get that Devilmon. Arena's going to reset tonight. I'll get the Devilmon tomorrow. So he'll have two more, and then he'll have, like, uh, seven to go or something, seven more that he needs. So I'll pick those up along the way. But um, Pharaoh is actually really good. Veramos is actually really good now. Um, the fact that his second skill scales to enemy max HP and can reduce attack bar on stuff that can't be stunned makes Veramos so much more usable. Um, just way more usable. Um, because before, he, I mean, he was he's always been okay. Like, he's always been fine. He takes the defense buff off, or the, the, the defense break off when you're in Giants. He takes dots off when you're in Dragons. Um... He's not bad in raid as long as you have a ton of resistance. If as long as you have enough resistance, and he's not going to be oblivioned very much, you can throw him on violent and he'll cleanse the team. But there are are better options like Lisa or Konamiya, um, or some other stuff. Um, but or just having immunity on. But the immunity gets stripped anyway, and then you get debuffed. So immunity is not very good in in raid either. But Pheromos is okay in raid. Like he's not he's not terrible. Um, like the the cleanse does work for for some stuff as long as he doesn't get oblivioned. Um, so he's not bad. That uh, was the moral of that story. Sigmaris, I saved up all the Devilmon that I had to make sure that I got him done first, and uh, make sure he had um, all the damage percentage up from skill one, and then made sure skill three and skill two were completely maxed. So if I had to use uh, if I had to completely max him, then I would, but I, I was able to save a Devilmon there. Um, Lauren, they're all they're all completely skilled up. Uh, I guess Crow has more skill up available because of um, because he's two eight now. He's got like six more you can do, but it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Um, so yeah, that's a run, two minutes and nine seconds. I think that said, my best time is two minutes and one second, and uh, typically the range is two minutes to two minutes and thirty seconds. So I'm really happy I took the time to. I'm really happy I took the time to just make the team good. Make I took so much time literally just farming this stuff up, making sure all the runes were right, getting the right artifacts, um, getting things where they need to be. Obviously, I need more accuracy on all of these things. Um, it'll be more consistent that way and then more crit rate for Crow. But I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I could have just gone with the way that it was before, and it was like a three-minute team, three-and-a-half-minute team, not even consistent, um, and just it was just rough, so... Getting it together was super nice. Um, I need to do 2,900 more runs, so 2,900 more runs to get to 3,000, and uh, and then I'll hit my objective. I've got 20 days left to do so. Oops. 20 days. It. I should be 24 days in. I don't know what happened, but I'll I'll just do it anyway. Um, so I'll hit my 3,000 runs. I'm pretty sure at this point I'll hit it. It'll all be good, and I'll be happy with that. So um, if you made it this far in the video, um, thank you guys for all the support. Um, the, the likes, the comments, the subscribing, and, and, so, and such things. If you made it this far and you're still watching, um, please consider subscribing to the channel. Um, I really, I'm really trying hard to, to make content and, and build this community, and I really, I just really enjoy doing this, um, and I enjoy making videos and talking to you guys, and, and it makes me really happy that you guys like it. Um, I've got some friends, uh, friend spots open still, I got like five or something, if anyone wants to add me, um, a couple guys have added me that uh, that watch the videos, and and I like hearing from them about their accounts. If you guys want to talk to me, I'm I'm happy to do so. Um, and yeah, uh, I hope everyone had a happy new year. Got to spend time with their families. Um, thank you once again. Um, you guys are you guys make my world a better place. Um, and I hope I make, I hope I I do the same thing for you guys. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.